One of the stocks that's also showing pressure is RBL Bank. Uh, uh, nothing wrong with the top line. Loan growth was excellent, but there was a bit of a miss on the uh, uh, slippages front, on the uh, asset quality front. We're just being joined by Vishwabhi Rahuja, Managing Director and CEO of RBL Bank. Uh, uh, good morning, Mr. Ahuja. Let me straight away get to the margins. That's a pretty picture. It's improved. Uh, what went right? The uh, MIM, you like you very rightly said, is at 3.89%, which is indeed at an all-time high. And it is the result of a lot of hard work that we have done over the years to you know, uh, make our uh, business and operations much more efficient. And uh, both in terms of the mix of liabilities that we have and in terms of the cost of funds of the bank uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, I think we should be able to maintain the NIM levels. Uh, I don't expect any moderation in the short to medium term. Mr. Ahuja, good morning. Slippages increased in Q3 while provision coverage ratio declined for the bank. What happened there? No, so again, let us uh, look at it in terms of the NPA position and uh, also let us look at it in terms of credit costs and then let's talk about coverage ratio. Let's look at it in that uh, order if it's okay with you. Uh, our, uh, except for one account, which I will talk about a little more, our gross NPA position was 1.42%. Okay, 1.42% compares with 1.44% last quarter, compares with 1.46% the quarter before that. So sequentially, the asset quality of the bank as a whole is improving, number one point. The credit costs of the bank, which were 30 basis points in first quarter, 22 basis points last quarter, were only 20 basis points this quarter, and I am stating to you that they will be even lower in the fourth quarter. So even in terms of credit costs, they are lower, are trending lower. The last point is on the coverage ratio that you mentioned. So there, we have mentioned even in our uh, commentary and press release that there was one corporate account which had to be classified NPA at the year end. This is, uh, this is an existing account which is otherwise a, 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 an operating account uh, with us. Uh, this is under, you know, it, 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 there is a certain amount of, if I may say, restructuring going on there, which should enable it to become a standard account within the next few weeks, well within this quarter. So it had, for various reasons, we have had to take it for a short period of time. And that was equivalent of 14 basis points of uh, NPA and about little over 4% in terms of coverage ratio, uh, which is sort of a matter of a few days. So, you know, on a steady state basis, this would not be there. And if you just sort of back it off, you know, we are back to a 56-57% uh, coverage ratio and, you know, uh, a steady state 1.4% uh, percent gross NPA. Okay. Well, I take your point. Uh, this has been happening to quite a few banks. Uh, one account which uh, in course of time is getting upgraded. But uh, what's your guidance on loan growth uh, and uh, even margins? See, at this level of NIM, you know, we are kind of happy. Uh, actually speaking, anything above 3.75% NIM and if we can maintain a loan growth of 30% plus, I think would be a fairly satisfactory outcome. Uh, we are presently confident that we should be able to sustain that for the short and medium term. And that's been our previous guidance also. And uh, based on the way things are panning out and how our businesses across the board are growing handsomely and demonstrating very strong momentum, like you said, we are confident of being able to maintain a NIM level between 3.8 and 4 percent, uh, anywhere in that range, uh, hopefully on the higher side, and, an, and a loan growth of excess of 30 percent, and improving return ratios uh, in terms of ROA, etc., steadily over time. 
Okay, we'll leave it at that, uh, uh, Mr. Ahuja. Thank you very much for joining us with those details. And it's important to note that uh, uh, the small hiccup in slippages is something which the bank expects is going to be overcome very soon. So that point needs to be noted. You know, it's a severe yo-yoing in the stock markets as far as the sensex.